Of the several ways that it's possible to move existing scripts or content into ScreenWriter, the easiest is to simply copy and paste. Here's a standard Microsoft Word file. You can tell by that doc extension on the end. I'll double-click that to open it. And to copy and move this, I'll go up to the Edit menu, select All, then go to Edit again, and Copy. Now I'm starting up ScreenWriter. Within ScreenWriter, I will go to the File menu, click New, and this creates a new blank document. On the Edit menu, just go to Paste. On this dialog box, click OK to accept the defaults, and there is our screenplay from Microsoft Word into ScreenWriter, properly formatted. But that didn't look very impressive, going from a formatted script to a formatted script. So let's go back and mess things up a little bit. On the File menu, we'll close out without saving changes. Here in uh, Word, let's go over here to make everything flush left. So, same information, but now we've lost all of our formatting. So, we'll go up to the Edit menu again, select All, Edit menu, and Copy. I'm starting up ScreenWriter again. Within ScreenWriter, we will go to the File menu, click New, using the default template to create a blank document. On Edit, I will paste, select the defaults, and look what happens. Just as quick, just as easy, we have the entire script reformatted, ready for you to continue working on it in ScreenWriter. Files can also be imported into ScreenWriter by using a tool on the File menu. This works with a number of different formats, including earlier versions of ScreenWriter, which have an extension of SCW text files, which have a file extension of TXT, rich format, which have an extension of RTF, and a variety of different Dramatica file formats. To import files created in a word processor, such as Microsoft Word or Final Draft, that file will first need to be converted into a rich text format. This is easy to do. Let's uh, close out of here, and I will demonstrate how to do that. We won't save any changes here. We're back in our Microsoft Word file, which we will close without saving and then reopen so it is in a looks familiar. Now, this is in the DOC format. We want it in the RTF, or rich text format. And most word processors have this capability. Go to the File menu and click Save As. In the Save As dialog box, there's typically a pick list for format. On that format list, there is typically an option for rich text format, or RTF. Select that, and you can see that the extension has been added for you. Click the Save button, and now look up on the title bar. You can see that this does see, say RTF. So now we simply go into uh, ScreenWriter. We're in ScreenWriter now. Go to File. From the File menu, select Import. This pops up a, a browse box. At the top is a pick list named Enable. You can uh, generally just uh, leave the default selection of all documents, or you could go down here and select the specific format of the file you're importing. In this case, for this demonstration, we'll just use all formats. Scroll down here to find sample document for importing, this RTF file I just created. Click Open. On this dialog box, uh, notice the two radio buttons at the top. The top selection is for import text in script format, which we have. In other cases, you may just have some uh, information you want to get into ScreenWriter to reformat later. So you can import that text as action only. But we'll go with this top selection. Simply accept all of the other defaults. Click OK. And there's your script again, imported as an RTF file into ScreenWriter, so you can continue being brilliant by working on your screenplay.